Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and we are having a very rainy day here in Georgia. And I'm not sure that you can hear it or not, but the rain on my tin roof here at my studio. Anyhow, I'm going to try to do this, so I apologize if you can kind of hear that in the background. I want to do my follow-up for my recycled Christmas cards in the ATC group that I'm in. Remember, it's... um an IO group and I'll list the group down below we would love to have you join us I'm um, a little bit about it really quick is that you have to participate once every quarter which is not a lot to ask um, sometimes it can be a big swap most of the time it's not most of the time it's a mingle like one-on-one -on -one, or in this case you might have to do three cards um, and then you know, you'll get three cards back. You send them to a hostess and she sends them back. That's usually it. And um been in it a really long time. They do chat a lot. I will tell you that. Um, I can't really keep up with it all sometimes. But you can put it in a digest where you get one email every so often. Um, but that's part of it. So you can kind of keep up with things. And it's fun to me. I like it. It's creating on a smaller scale and um, I'm now on my third binder of ATC cards. Um, so anyway, this is one of the cards that I did. I think I've told you in the past that I always do an extra card for myself in when I do a swap. <clears throat> so I usually do four and this is the one I decided to keep. I had two Christmas cards that I used that were like scenes and then this card I actually um, did too. So let's, I've already opened this, so let's pull it out and let's see what the cards are that I got. Um, let's see here. This one is really cute. I'm going to take it out of the plastic sleeve. I'm not sure how the reflection is doing. This is really cool. Um, it almost looks like this was on a Christmas tree. She turned it into an ornament and then maybe put glossy accents or something on top of it. And this all looks like washi tape all lined up nice and neat and good for you. And here's another one. Let's see who th did this one. All right. This was Karen from Texas. So Karen, I appreciate it very much. And that is beautiful. And it is a great use of the Christmas card. Love it. So let's put you over here. And now let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> All right, this one, again, looks like maybe a Christmas card was punched out, kind of like with a scallop kind of punch. And then some dots were put on. Now I'm wondering if that dot is somewhere. Kind of looks like I lost one. I'm not seeing it in the pack. Anyway, and then some embellishments and some things on the tree. Very, very cute. And then some foil paper. Um, this one is from my buddy Lucy. And Lucy, um, yeah, has been doing this a long time. And um, Lucy lives in Tennessee. I remember that. All right. And this is the third one I got. Oh, this is cool. Looks like they cut out, fussy cut out, like a decorated house and a tree and added some little birds. And maybe watercolored or crayons, adult crayons, a background to go with the tree, and then of course put a word on it. And that one is from Rebecca in Oregon. So Rebecca, thank you very much. It's a, it's to me, it's a great spin on how to use the Christmas cards. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but they were packaged in um, this. And what this is, this is from a sheet that you put baseball cards in. And they come three across and three up. And usually down the side, there is um, the holes to go in a binder. So this is actually how I store mine on full sheets. And that way you can flip them. And then when you flip them, you can see the back sides. Because everybody, you know, when you do your ATCs, you um, put your information on the back. Which leads me to something else I said earlier, and someone had asked me to share with them. A long time ago, I had done a map, and my goal was to get an ATC from every state. 
Well, the yellow is where I have gotten ATCs from. So as you can see, I'm still missing a few. South Carolina surprises me that I have not gotten one from there. Kentucky surprises me. Um, but anyway, Alaska is not so surprising to me. But um, I know there's creative people in all of these groups, I mean all these states. So come and join us and send me an ATC. Um, I'd say I probably have a little over half of them. I've not taken the time to count them. Um, but I'm still like missing Delaware and New Jersey and, you know, way up in the Northeast and a lot in the Midwest and everything. So come on, help a girl out. I really would like to get this all colored in. I'm now going to put this in a safe place so I don't have to do it. Put it in front of one of my ATC binders. So anyhow, that is the swap. So I wanted to kind of close out and show you that from a few weeks ago when I sent mine in. Um, and if you like what I do, please um, subscribe to my channel. I put up a video just once a week. I do it Tuesday evenings. But I also do have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I do my best. I also, from time to time, will post on Pinterest if I have something pretty cool to show. Um, so, And then remember, too, I also have an Etsy shop don't have a whole lot in it, but if you're interested in um, leather book plates for your the front of your journals, or you're interested in blueprints, and I have a few digitals, come and check me out. I'd appreciate it. And if you have any questions about the group or anything, like I said, I'll put the link down below. But give me a thumbs up and come over to the group and um and say hi. And like I said, I'm sure that they would appreciate you joining the ATC group. Not a whole lot of people in there. I'm um, probably less than a hundred, and um, but it's fun. And to me, it's no pressure. Um, you know, just be nice. And of course, the rule of um, you know, participating once a quarter is about all there is to it. So we appreciate it. And um, I guess I'll see you down the road. See you on the flip side. Behave. Bye.